In this problem, uh, part A wants us to find the numbers, if any, at which f has a relative maximum. Okay, and then it says, what are these relative maxima? So we have to find the numbers where there is a maximum, and then we have to find out what the maximum all we actually are. So I'm going to click the little uh, icon here. And so maximums and minimums are always y values, okay? So here the maximum is 3, and then the minimums are negative 1 and negative 1. So maximums and minimums are y values. That's the key. So the first part wants to know where is the maximum. So that's actually the x value. So the first maximum is 3, and it occurs or it happens at x equals negative 1. So negative 1, that's the x value where we have the maximum, right? And anytime you have a hump or a dip like this, it's a max or a min. So negative 1, that's, our relative, that's where we have our relative maximum. So negative 1 is the answer to the first part, and then it says find the relative maxima, maxima. So that's just the y value, that's just three. So three is the relative maximum. So I'm gonna go back here and click this box and press three. Then it says find the numbers, if any, at which f has a relative minimum. Okay, so let me go back to the graph. So we know the minimums are negative one. Those are the smallest y values, right? So the numbers were, we have minimums are negative 2 and 0. At negative 2, the minimum is negative 1. And at 0, the minimum is negative 1. So negative 2 and 0, those are the x values where we have our minimum. So negative 2 comma 0. And then in this case, our relative minimum is negative 1. It's our smallest y value. Okay, let me go back just run through it one more time really quickly. So our maximum is 3, it's a, it's a hump, and it occurs at negative 1, but the actual maximum is the y value, it's 3. Our minimums are the same, we have the same minimum twice, negative 1 is a minimum here and here, and it occurs at x equals negative 2 and at x equals 0. So let me close this, so it says the relative minimum is negative 1. Hope that made sense.